and welcome back to my next video and today I'm going to be presenting Park Spilchowski's three step test. This test is the key to diagnosing an isolated sacral vertical muscle pulsing. What we need for that is just a motility measurements in the primary position, right and left side cases, right and left head tilt. There are eight sacral vertical extraocular muscles, four in each eye, two depressors, inferior rectus muscle and superior oblique muscle, and two elevators, superior rectus muscle and inferior oblique muscle. Step one, determine which eye is higher in primary position. As we can see here, we have a right hypertropion. And step one narrows the number of possible underacting muscles from eight to four. In this case, we automatically exclude inferior rectus and superior oblique of the left eye, as well as superior rectus and inferior oblique of the right eye, which means we have a possible weakness of superior oblique and inferior rectus of the right eye, or weak possible weakness of superior rectus and inferior oblique of the left eye. Step number two, uh, define if the hypertropia worse in right or left case. As we can see here, hypertropia is worse in left case and this will exclude the inferior rectus of the right eye as well as inferior oblique of the left eye. So we have now the number of possible underacting muscles which is reduced from four to two and we have it uh, in mind that we have a possible weakness of superior oblique of the right eye or a possible weakness of a superior rectus of the left eye. Step number three is the hypertrophia worse in right or left head tilt and this is a Bilchowski head tilt test. As we can see here left head tilt doesn't show any abnormalities but right head tilt shows the hypertrophia of the right eye. Right tilt induces intortion of the right eye and extortion of the left eye. Normally the two intortors and the two extortors of each eye have opposite vertical actions that cancel one another or neutralizes one another. And in case if one intortor or one extortor is weak, the vertical action of the other ipsilateral torting muscle becomes manifest during the torting response to head tilt muscle paresis. And this test will exclude superior rectus muscle of the left eye and now we have a defined weakness of superior oblique muscles of the right eye. So the diagnosis is right superior oblique pulsing. This was Park Spilchowski's three-step test. Thank you for watching. Till the next video, stay positive, stay healthy. Bye.